Hello. Today we're going to talk about the pros and cons of living here in San Bruno. You might be looking on the west side near Skyline Drive or Skyline Community College in Portola Highlands, Rollingwood, Pacific Heights, Monte Verde, or the Crestmore Park 1, 2, or 3. Or on the east side of town, closer towards El Camino, at Lomita Park, Cappuccino Village, Huntington Park, Mills Park, San Bruno Park, and there's a lot to consider if you're thinking about living here in the city. It will be specific to 2022 and moving forward as there's gonna be a couple changes going on throughout the city. Let's jump into it. Pro number one of San Bruno is going to be that it's mostly sunny and moderately windy. San Bruno is known to bring sunshine throughout the year with the occasional cloud slash fog. Some days during the afternoon, you'll be able to catch Carl de Fog rolling into the Crystal Springs Reservoir up the mountain as you look west, which is a beautiful sight to see when that does happen. Of course, that also brings us to con number one. When it does get windy, San Bruno and the wind come hand in hand. It's never a dull day when Carl does roll into town. Make sure you have a warm jacket or a windbreaker. And the good news is, it's really never too hot or too cold in San Bruno. Pro number two is the ease and proximity of transportation. San Bruno is known for its numerous residential neighborhoods. That's why many residents choose to live here and around the city and can travel by car, which connects to 380 to 101 on the east side or 280 on the west side. Additionally, San Bruno has the current second last BART station on the peninsula, which is right under Tanfran. And con number two is the proximity to the airport and some major shopping centers. San Bruno is right next to the airport. You tend to hear the international flights flying out of the airport right above head. Additionally, San Bruno is set to lose its own shopping center, which is Tanfran and it's going to be a future mega campus for work. You'll now need to go north to Saramonte in Daly City or Stonestown in San Francisco or Hillsdale down south for your major shopping needs. Pro number three is the affordability relative to the rest of the peninsula. San Bruno is known to be the top five more affordable cities in San Mateo County. So you do not need to leave the peninsula to potentially stay within the Bay Area. There are condo complexes like Shelter Creek, Peninsula Place, that offer studio one and two bedroom layouts that are purchasable, which makes them the most affordable units to buy throughout the Bay Area. You'll also find single family residences. However, the entry to get into one of these single families is likely going to be in the low millions. And of course, con number three is that affordability is always going to be relative. Still, it's going to be one of the more expensive cities in general if you compare it to the Bay Area going south or going east. And with all of that said, thank you so much for watching one of our city videos again. If you're considering a move to San Bruno or in the Bay Area in general, make sure to get in touch with me and ask me any questions. I'd love to hear from you. If you found this video helpful, hit the subscribe button, like the video, and as always, share it with a friend. I love to see more people interacting with us. Just in case you do have additional thoughts, comment below.